upgrade them. They are required to repair them if they're miswired, but so far all of these have been wired properly. But they're not, they don't have the third. They don't have the ground prong, but they do have a ground wire available. The ground, the grounded outlet doesn't show up. And that was wired backwards. The grounded outlet doesn't show up in code until about 1963. Uh -huh. So you got a house built in 60, not required. Uh -huh. um, but I am marking the outlets that have got wiring issues with tape. You know, I'm going to show this one, and okay. you want to talk about this? Yeah. So what you've got, we've got past repairs to termite damage, but we've also got active termite, uh, not active, but other areas of termite damage that, that didn't get fixed. It looks like most of this built-in bookcase is pretty well consumed by termites. Here's another repair site here. If you pan over to your right, you can see where my flashlight beam is. That's a, that's a mud tunnel from termite activity in this corner. There, mostly pan up that way. So you can kind of make it out. It's a little bit of a challenge with the light. But none of this looks to be active, but it does look to be you know, a, an area of damage that, that needs to be investigated further. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't think that any of this is necessarily structural because on the other side of this wood paneling in this basement area is the brick and block foundation. So whatever they've munched on is basically cosmetic. Okay. Okay. Yeah, a little bit of water damage on that tack strip, but nothing too severe. That'd be great. Yeah, that's pretty dry. You know, I don't know how long this carpet's been down here, but that doesn't look bad. The agent says he's going to come by. Okay. I'll try not to have the carpet up when he does. Yeah, they got into that pretty good. And we'll point it out to them. So, can they damage anything in the foundation? I mean, if it's a brick and block? No, they, they won't damage anything in the foundation. Um, but they can certainly munch on the the uh, furring strips behind oh, this okay. paneling that hold the paneling up. And if they're aggressive enough, they could make it to the floor upstairs. framing. As we discussed, we looked at the hardwood flooring upstairs uh -huh. with its recent refinish. It didn't see any damage to that, so I don't uh -huh. believe that they've gotten to the hardwoods. But I can't tell you if they, in fact, got to the subfloor framing because I can't see it. Okay. Um, but they definitely ate this up. And well, here's the thing. When they go look for termites, they only look where they can see. So, I mean, how would you know if they got up in the... Right. Well, basically what they would recommend would be treatment. Oh. I mean, the reality is about termite damage. Uh -huh. The opportunity for termites to completely destroy your home, uh -huh. very rare. Um, most of their, their damage is topical or, or oh, oh, designated I to a specific a, area. I had a contract once where they found one mud puddle tunnel in the living room of a three-story colonial. One. And we had to call a structural engineer. <laughs> and, of course, he didn't find anything. No, because there was nothing to be seen. Uh -huh. I mean, as I said, the realities of it, being able to destroy it, is pretty slim. Now, bear in mind, that's because we have subterranean termites. Uh -huh. These guys coming from... Hawaii have been exposed to the Formosan, uh -huh. or the drywood termite. Uh -huh. He's evil, uh -huh. way evil. Um, but we don't have those here. Uh -huh. okay. My understanding is they've made it as far north as Norfolk. Okay. They have not made it up to our area because they haven't acclimatized to the cold winters yet. Oh, good. But there's a big yet. Uh -huh. They're coming. Uh -huh. And they are brutal. Wow. They've had decks consumed uh -huh. in a weekend in New Orleans. They're uh -huh. just that aggressive. They're, wow. they're Bigger than a subterranean and vastly more they aggressive. Don't, do they care if it's treated wood? Or? Treated wood will still kill them. Uh -huh. um, and that's one of the reasons why there was some legislature in, in uh, New Orleans about the possibility uh -huh. of requiring all new construction uh -huh. to have pressure treated lumber for the first floor uh -huh. because of the aggressive nature of these particular uh -huh. termites. But they're nasty. Uh -huh. but we don't have those. They do in Hawaii. We don't. Yeah, and then they've got to worry about fire ants. <laughs> <coughs> My husband had a friend who moved to uh, North Carolina, and the guy uh, went to move a rowboat that was turned over in his backyard, and he was attacked by fire ants. 
And? And he ended up in the hospital. Well, that's because he stood around too long. Well, we'll take care of it. I mean, in the Marine Corps, I can remember on Paris Island, beautiful Beaufort, South Carolina, they would take us out in this local, you know, on the, on the, on the parade field to do our exercises and uh, kind of intentionally set us up over top of the engines. You couldn't choose. It wasn't like you could step out of line so that you weren't on one. Um, you just hoped that you were capable enough to stay above.